Let's go. Once we're on. And I'm live. Okay. We're back on the record in the uh, Gatlin matter. Um, so, and so my understanding is she's going to plead no contest to the use of a controlled substance, a one year offense. Um, the basis for that is lack of memory um, in terms of the no contest plea. Upon her successful plea to that charge, count one would be dismissed. There's no objection to 7411. That's the court's full understanding of the agreement. That is our understanding as well, Your Honor. <clears throat> um, and that's, that's what Ms. Gatlin and I talked about yes, uh, Tuesday. That's correct, Your Honor. All right. Ms. Gatlin, can you raise your right hand, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? Yes, sir. State your name for the record, please. Well, Gatlin. All right. You can put your hand down. Okay, you already did. All right, ma'am, it is this court's understanding you're going to plead no contest to the charge of use of a controlled substance. That is a misdemeanor punishable by up to one year incarceration and a $2,000 fine plus court cost. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Do you understand what a no contest plea is? Yes, sir. All right. Let me explain two things just to make sure that you understand. The first thing you need to understand is that, is that it means that you're not further desirous or wanting to contest this charge. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Second thing you need to understand is that for purposes of sentencing, the court will treat you the same as though you had pled guilty. You understand that? Yes. You also understand, ma'am, that while I'm taking your plea, I would not be your sentencing judge. And you would be sentenced before Judge Barr in the 14A2 District Court. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Now, understanding all of that, do you still wish to plead no contest? Yes. And to that charge, how do you plead? No contest. Now, you understand that by pleading no contest, you'll not have a trial of any kind? Yes, sir. Because of that, you're giving up certain rights. You're giving up your right to call witnesses to speak for you at trial or to have this court compel their attendance. You're giving up your right to see, hear, and question all witnesses against you at trial. You're also giving up your right to be a witness for yourself or to remain silent, not have that silence used against you. And you're giving up your right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You understand that? Yes. You understand you're giving up your right to appeal over it? Right? Yes. Are you on probation or parole? No, sir. Has anybody promised you anything other than what's been stated here today on the record to get you to plead guilty? No, sir. Or plead no contest, I'm sorry. Has anybody threatened you or coerced you? No, sir. You're doing this voluntarily and of your own free will? Yes. All right. The court has been provided and has reviewed Ypsilanti Police, or I'm sorry, Eastern Michigan University Police Department report for their case number 203781. Any objection to the court reviewing that report? No, sir. No, Your Honor. Upon a review of that report, the court does find that there's a sufficient factual basis in which the court could determine the defendant's guilt of this offense. Counsel, have I complied with the court rule? Would it be proper to accept this defendant's plea? Yes, Your Honor. People are satisfied. All right. Court will accept the defendant's plea. Two count two. Count one is dismissed. Pre-sentence investigation and report is ordered at 1482 probation. Sentencing in this matter will be... October 18th at 9 a.m. for Judge Barr. October 18th? Yes. October 18th, 2023, 9 a.m. And that is before Judge Barr. As to the defendant's bond and the record to reflect, we had a conversation off the record regarding some things, and they don't need to, in this court's mind, be stated on record. I'm going to reduce the defendant's bond to a $10,000 personal recognizance bond. Ma'am, as a condition of your release, I'm going to indicate that you are to initially what I'm going to want are two times per week testing. All right. Drug testing. You understand that, ma'am? Yes. The only problem is. I hold on. Hold on. Just hold on. Let me finish. Your, your attorney did a very good job. So you're you're going to start talking and mess it up. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to you. She told me that you do live in Wayne County. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow you to test in Wayne County, but you have to make sure they're going to release the results to our community correction. Okay. Anything else you want to say to mess this up or no? No, sir. That I didn't think you did. Okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Sometimes you just got to let the attorneys do their work. You're All right. right. We can, whatever anybody might be ready on. Okay. I'll try to take some of them. Um, our first yeah. one. Court calls the case of People versus Christopher Page. Yeah, I was We're ready. Nicole Hughes on behalf of the people. Lauren Brown, Deputy Chief Public Defender of Ben Wibb, and on behalf of Mr. Christopher Page, who appears by Zoom. Mrs. Page, could you state your name for the record? Mr. Pete Page. Yeah, okay. What are we doing? Today's date and time set for a competency review hearing. Does the court have any updated reports of this matter? I do not. Nor do we, Your Honor. That being the case, we believe that an adjournment is in order to allow um, CMH to get the information to us. All right. So here's what I'll do. Um, I'll adjourn the review hearing. We'll go out 30 days and we can move it up if we receive a report. So I'll adjourn the cup to September 7th, 2023 at 9. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Bond, continue. Thank you. Thank you. Um, why don't we? I'm going to take a break. Probably. John Hart. Alex Chabalowski, on behalf of the people. Your Honor, Gina Noveski, first assistant public defender, with and on behalf of Mr. Hart, who is present. Mr. Hart, can you turn your camera on and say your name? He's been on there. I know he's here. But... Yeah. <laughs> he must have uh, stepped away for a second, Jim. He looked like he was sleeping. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. Take, taking a nap. You want to try to call him to wake him up? Are sure. we doing a plea? Yes. Yes, we are. Uh, all right. If I gave Brown. A call. Hey, I'll let you do it. Nevesky comes in here and just messes everything up, too. All right, fine. I'll pass it. All right. Thank you. Court calls the case. People versus Zachariah. Is it Ruska Dennis? Alex Jabalowski on behalf of the people. And Alex Warren Green on behalf of Mr. Ruska Dennis. Uh, Mr. Ruska Dennis, if you're present, would you please state your name for the court? Not checked in. Ruska Dennis. No response. Bench warrant will issue for defendant's failure to appear. Bond will be set in the amount of 10000 cash surety. That warrant will issue immediately. Court does call the case uh, the people versus James Jones. Allie Zend on behalf of the people. Ron Brown appearing on behalf of James Jones. Two cases. James Jones. Oh, yes, Your Honor. All right. State your name, sir. James Jones. Thank can, you. Can me, can me and my attorney go in the breakout room? You got to call me, Mr. Any Jones. time, but right now. Um, okay. What are we doing? Most, most I'm, request, discovery. I'm requesting adjournment because I called Mr. Jones several times. 
What number you got? Brother? Probable. Real talk. Probable cause conference. August 31st, 2023, 9 a.m. Bond will continue. Um, Mr. Jones, I'm going to suggest you call the prosecu- the um, prosecutor, call the public defender's office. Make sure they have a valid phone number for you as well as email. Yes, sir. Thank you. Do that right after you hang up. That way you guys can get in touch with each other. Bond, continue. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Um, I have two recalls. Which one? Bart recalls the case of the people versus Benjamin Cameron. Maria Rosinski on behalf of the people. Ron Brown Pring on behalf of Mr. Cameron. Mr. Cameron, state your name. Benjamin Cameron. All right. Are we doing the plea form I have? Yes, Your Honor. It's a no contest plea. Potential civil liability is the basis. So I should change this on the form to a no contest. Good thing, because yes. I read the report. All right. The plea form indicates that he's going to plead to the charge of false pretenses, 200 to 1,000, the one-year offense. Upon his successful plea to that charge, count one would be dismissed. Um, there's an agreement. Well. There's at least an understanding that the defendant has paid rest has paid restitution of one thousand thirty three dollars and ninety six cents. That's the court's full understanding of the agreement. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Right. Basis for the no contest plea. Potential civil liability. All right, Mr. Cameron, can you raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear or affirm testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes, sir. State your name for the record, please. Benjamin Cameron. Sir, it is this court's understanding you're going to plead no contest to the charge of false pretenses 200 to 1,000. That is a misdemeanor punishable by up to one year incarceration a $2,000 fine plus court costs. The fine could be increased at three times the value of the property, which is the subject matter of the false pretenses. If that's greater than $2,000, that becomes the maximum fine. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. You also understand, sir, that while I'm taking your plea, well, let me ask you this. Do you understand what a no contest plea is? Yes, sir. All right. Two things about a no contest plea I have to make sure you understand. The first thing you need to understand is that it means that you're not further desirous or wanting to contest this charge. Do you understand that? Correct. Second thing you need to understand is that for pur- that for purposes of sentencing, the court would treat you the same as though you had pled guilty. You understand that? Yes, sir. And you understand, sir, that while I'm taking your plea, I would not be your sentencing judge, and you would be sentenced before Judge Freshour in the 14A3 District Court. Okay. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Still wish to plead no contest? Yes, sir. And to that charge, how do you plead? Uh, Guilty. Okay, really? No Excuse con- me, no contest, sorry. <laughs> All, right. All right. Now, you understand that by pleading no contest, you'll not have a trial of any kind. I understand. Because of that, you're giving up certain rights. You're giving up your right to call witnesses to speak for you at trial or to have this court compel you, your attendance. You're giving up your right to see, hear, and question all witnesses against you at trial. You're also giving up your right to be a witness for yourself or to remain silent, not have that silence used against you. And you're giving up your right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You understand that, sir? Yes, sir. You understand also you're giving up your right to appeal of right. I understand. All right. Are you on parole? No, sir. Are you on probation? No, sir. Has anybody promised you anything other than what's been stated here today on the record to get you to plead no contest to this charge? No, sir. Anybody threaten you or coerce you? No. You're doing this voluntarily? Yes. And of your own free will? Yes. The court has been provided and has reviewed uh, Northfield Township Police Department report for their case number 20369. Any objection to the court having reviewed that report? No, Your Honor.
Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, any objection to me reviewing the report? No objection to reviewing the report, Your Honor. All right. Based upon a review of that report, the court does find that there's a sufficient factual basis in which the court could determine the defendant's guilt of this offense. Counsel, have I complied with the court? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Court will accept the defendant's no contest plea to count two. Count one is dismissed. Pre-sentence investigation and reporters ordered at 1483 probation. Sentencing will be? September 11th at 1 p.m. with Judge Fresh. September 11th, 2023, 1 p.m. Before Judge Fresh Hour, bond will continue. And Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Your Honor, for the record, uh, yes. restitution was posted as a bond and needs to be released to the victim. I'm sorry. The the five hundred dollars. A thousand thirty-three. Yes. Okay. $3.96. All right. And you'd like that released or right now? Counsel? Uh, yes, to the victim. Okay. So we're going to usually what would happen. All right. Uh, I will order that. I don't have a problem ordering that, but um, I'll indicate restitution. Oh, uh, may be released to the victim. Um, and Madam Prosecutor, you probably want to contact the 1483 court just to make sure that they have all of the information to properly release that. But I'm not going to have a problem with them releasing it at this point. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I have another thing. Thank you. Court does call the case. People versus John Hart. Alex Chabalowski for the people. Your Honor, Gina Noveski, first assistant public defender with on behalf of Mr. Hart, who is present and on video. Mr. Hart, can you state your name? John Joseph Hart. All right. I have a plea form before me. Is that what we're doing? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. We do need to add, I think, the restitution to the plea form, if the court wouldn't mind. Sure. I don't have anything else to do. What do you want me to add? $65.62. $65.62? Yes. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Hart, can you raise your right hand, please, sir? Yes, sir. Do you solemnly swear or affirm testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? Yes, I do. State your name for the record, please. John Joseph Hart. All right, you can put your hand down. Sir, it is this court's understanding that you are going to be pleading guilty to the charge of retail fraud in the third degree. That is a misdemeanor punishable by up to 93 days in jail, up to a $500 fine plus court costs. The fine could be increased at three times the value of the property taken. If that's greater than $500, that would become the maximum fine. You understand that, sir? Yes, sir, I do. You also understand, sir, that while I'm taking your plea, I would not be your sentencing judge, and you would be sentenced before Judge Barr in the 14A2 District Court. I understand, sir. All right. Still wish to plead guilty? I do, sir. And to that charge, how do you plead? I plead guilty. Now, you understand that by pleading guilty, you'll not have a trial of any kind? Yes, sir. I understand that. Because of that, you're also giving up certain rights. You're giving up your right to call witnesses to speak for you at trial or to have this court compel their attendance. You're giving up your right to see, hear, and question all witnesses against you at trial. You're also giving up your right to be a witness for yourself or to remain silent, not have that silence used against you. And you're giving up your right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Yes, I understand, sir. 
You understand you're giving up your right to appeal of right. I do understand. All right. Are you on probation or parole? No, sir, I'm not. Has anybody promised you anything other than what's been stated here today to get you to plead to this No, discharge? sir, they have not. They have Has not, anybody no. threatened you or coerced you? No, sir. You're doing this voluntarily? Yes, sir, I am. Of your own free will? Yes, Your Honor. And because you believe that you're guilty of this offense? Yes, Your Honor. March 10th, 2023, at the location of 312 River Street in city of Ypsilanti, Washington County, state of Michigan, what'd you do at the Ipsy Food Co-op that makes you think that you're guilty of this offense? There, sir, some groceries. Okay, so you went in there, tried to take things without paying for them, and tried to walk yes, out? Yes, sir. The yes, store was sir. Open to the pub Was the store open to the public at the time? Yes, it was, sir. You didn't have anybody's permission to take that property, did you? I did not. And the property you took, that was property that was offered for sale by the co-op? Yes, it was. All right. Counsel, have I complied with the court rule? Would it be proper to accept this defendant's plea? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. The court will accept the defendant's plea of guilty to count two. Count one is dismissed pursuant to the plea agreement. Pre-sentence investigation and report is ordered at 1482 probation. Sentencing in this matter will be. October 18th at 9 a.m. 18? Yes, sir. October 18th, 2023. What time? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Before Judge Barr. Bond will continue. Thank you. And I thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hart. Thank you, Gina. Bye-bye. I'll talk to you. Okay. That does that block, and then we come back at what time?